Hi, this video is part two of how to design a lens hood using Design Spark Mechanical. So in the first video, we already make the locking mechanism, and for this one, we will make the hood shape. For this project, please open your previous file. So we will continue from the basic locking mechanism. We will click here the upper surface of this uh, prototype of the locking mechanism, and then press Control C and Control V. This uh, circle or this area is already representing the inner uh, side of the lens hood and also the outer side. So we will use this one to design the further uh, shape of the hood. So now I will hide the solid, which is uh, let me rename it as lock. Okay, so let me hide this lock and we will start from this surface. Next, we will copy this uh, circle surface, okay, control C and then control V. And let's move by 5 millimeters up, okay. Next, we will make a rectangle 15 millimeters above this circle or this uh, surface. But to do that, we will copy this one first. So control C, control V, and then move up by 15 millimeters okay and then press this one the sketch mode and then click on this uh, top surface okay and then I will use the top view yes now we will make a rectangle based on this shape so I will click this rectangle shape and then here to here 64 millimeters okay and then we will make it uh, in this case I'm going to use 40 millimeters wide okay also at this side also you can use this one the uh, three point rectangle so click here here and here it's going to be easier in this condition so input 40 millimeters here yes now we have a large rectangle here and then let's delete these circles also this line so we have a large rectangle now click on the 3d mode now we will make the uh, the corners to become a rounded corner so click pull and then from this corner we will push by 10 millimeters okay now click select okay we already have this uh, rectangle with rounded corner now we need to put some uh, wall thickness to this shape so to do that we can double click here and then click this one the offset curve and then click again here double click and then move by the thickness that you want so two millimeters yes and then click select click 3d mode okay now we can delete this uh, inner rectangle and we will use this one the frame now we will copy this frame 10 millimeters uh, above this one so press ctrl c press ctrl v and then move by 10 millimeters done okay now we will uh, use this one two three and four uh, surface to make the lens hood first we will use this circle the number two from the bottom and this one for the uh, rectangle and then click blend and then press enter okay now we have this uh, funnel shape and then next for this uh, for this side of the lens hood we will click at this top surface and then click pull click add okay and then extrude in this case 10 millimeters so it will attach directly to the funnel below because the distance is 10 millimeters same principle also for this one click here and then drag by five millimeters okay so now we have a basic shape 
for the lens hood which is a square lens hood and if we unhide the locking mechanism it can become a one solid uh, lens hood if we combine now let's hide again the locking mechanism usually for a lens hood you will need the surface here to be as non-reflective as possible so you can use paint and so on and sometimes also add uh, texture there so we will click here and then click this one okay so let's see okay we will add texture here so let me click this line we will make a uh, this one so I'm going to make a simple 90 degrees feature okay and then I will hide this uh, solid object so that we can have this uh, pattern and then I will click to view the lens hood again okay so now in 3d mode we have this lens hood and also this pattern that we will extrude throughout the wall of the lens hood to do that you can click this one pull and then click this one the sweep or alt click so we click this one sweep and then press control and click on the track that you want to sweep so in this case I'm going to click this lines Okay, and when it's done I will click this one pull pull done next we can combine this hood with the locking mechanism so unhide or show the lock mechanism here okay and then we can select all click combine click select click home okay now we have one piece of lens hood one solid object of lens hood that you can export to STL and then print as you need it okay congratulations now you can design your own lens suit using design spark mechanical anyway there is one thing that I didn't mention earlier that you need to also check the length of the lens suit that your lens can take so as not to make vignetting to your picture if you have question and suggestion please put in the comment below don't forget to subscribe I'll see you again in the next video Bye.